Hi everyone, it's Leo and welcome back for another episode about procedural animation. Last time we stopped with a pretty decent and convincing legs movement. But for the overall animation to look better, we need to swing the arms, which will be today's challenge. First, we need to set up the rigs as well as the constraints for both arms. I didn't know which direction to take first, so I decided to try some things. The first thing I tried was a two-bone eye constraint on both arms. I also created targets. By moving them in a scene view, I will be able to see how the IK constraint behaves. I was confident that the elbow would bend, but, well, I was not expecting such an injury. Somehow I could solve brand wrists, but not the elbows. I could do nothing to make this IQ constraint look better. So an idea came to my mind. What if we use multi-M constraint instead of two-bone IQ constraint? By constraining the shoulder to aim a specific target, and later the arm and why not the forearm or the hand, we should get a pretty accurate result. In the first time I decided to use the same targets as the legs, but on the opposite side and we can clearly see the shoulders swinging. So obviously the overall doesn't look very realistic yet, but I'm pretty sure this little swing will make sense when we will be moving the arms and the forearms. I'm gonna keep the exact same targets for the arms, and let's see what we've got. Well, actually it doesn't look so bad. We just need a few adjustments so that the arms face the body instead of facing the forward direction. These adjustments take place in the multi-m constraint settings. There are offsets, and by tweaking them, as you can see, everything gets in place. Now let's consider the forearms. As usual, and to keep things simple, I'm gonna use the exact same target as the shoulder and the arm, for both arms. I played a bit with the weights and the offsets of every constraint, and this is what I've got. Are we just witnessing the death of baked animations? I'm not saying that this animation looks better than even a free walking animation you could find on the store. I'm not saying that, but I'm finally seeing the potential it has. I can already set the step height, the step length. I can change my feet rotation according to what I'm stepping on. All these little things couldn't be done with traditional animations. And in just four episodes, we can make any humanoid character in the world walk and run. And I just have the feeling that if we keep going on this series, we will achieve something incredible. Now that we have our baseline, we're going to pay attention to smaller details. There are currently four things I'm thinking about to improve the overall feeling. The first is to bend the toes or 
I mean to adapt the toe's direction to make it look better. So far, the feet are just flat even when they're in the air. They should aim toward the ground instead. I was also thinking to rotate just a slight bit the body around the y-axis, from left to right and right to left, synchronously with the arm swinging, obviously. It will make things look more natural, or more badass. Also about the elbows, I think they should be straight when behind the character and they should be more bent when in front of the character. Last but not least, I think I should do something to make the feet stick better to the ground. They're actually sliding a bit and I think it will make a big difference. And obviously if you have any idea about what to improve just let me know in the comment section. Who knows, it may be implemented in the next video. Before signing off, I just wanted to mention that I also made a visual debugger to see the curve my feet are following, which is represented by the two edges of this cylinder. That will be useful in the future, especially when dealing with the toes. Also, by reading your comments, I realize that many of you are interested in spider procedural animations. I am too, so guess what, I'm working on a tutorial on this one as well. Also, I was thinking about doing one for procedural trees. I worked a lot on this in the past and I even made a package of 100 procedurally generated trees. You can check it out on my Asset Store Publisher page, which is in the description. It's not a great package, but it's free, so you have nothing to lose. So if you're interested in knowing how I did them, just let me know, I may do a tutorial about it. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video about procedural animation. As usual, you can find the whole sources and the scene and all the setup on GitHub. See you next time. Cheers!